TrueNAS Scale 24.04.2 was released on July 9th of 2024. Today is July 14th, and all my systems updated. None of them caught fire, so I'm going to say it worked pretty well. But that's not too surprising. This was a point release, not a major release. But there's a few things I want to cover in this video. First, I want to be clear that you should keep your TrueNAS system up to date. I did have a good conversation with someone who reached out and said, hey, when should I update my TrueNAS? I'm still on like the 23 version. And I'm like, you should at least be on 24. And I can understand when the major release is first release waiting, but I wouldn't wait too long. So we're going to talk a little bit about how long you should wait. We're also going to talk about True Charts because that has now ended. So if you're using True Charts or you're here because you're wondering why True Charts quit working, yeah, that era is over and we'll talk about that as well. So let's get started. <music> Now we can start here with the 24.04.2 changelog. I think one of the big reasons for pushing this out was of course the first thing listed here, CVE 2024-6387, also known as regression. I believe it's how you pronounce that. This is the vulnerability found in SSH. It is exploitable more so in the i3d6 compilations versus the x64, which is going to be what your TrueNAS is based on. But still, any bug in SSH, because SSH is that ubiquitous control plane we all use for managing our systems. Therefore, any problems found within it are a big deal. Matter of fact, the last time we had this big of a deal found in SSH was all the way back in 2006, which actually this is the same bug. It's a accidental regression back to that previous bug from 18 years ago in SSH. So that does need to be patched. I do highly recommend it. The rest of the details are lots of little stuff. You know, why not throw the new kernel version in here? Fix some of the other bug complaints that you find. And there's always bug complaints. People always are finding issues and edge cases and they inform the developers, they open tickets, and that's how the ecosystem improves. SureNAS is an open source project that puts out the updates that are done as best to the developer's knowledge, but it always does rely on users finding those edge cases that inform the developers of things that need to be fixed and changed. And there's a bunch of little things, as I noted, that are fixed here. But when should you update? Well, for me, I like checking out the release candidate, but that's me. I like engaging with them. I like helping get this product out. I like testing the new features, and that's fine for my non-production system because I have production and non-production TrueNAS systems. Well, even what I may call non production still does produce my videos and I will update those as well sometimes because hey I like to live on the edge a little bit but for those of you looking for a more stable release cycle when should you update maybe not on day one that's a fair way to look at it and I say that because if you look at something like the 24.04.1 changelog you'll notice and we'll expand this real quick May 29th and this one was released on May 28th so waiting a couple days, probably reasonable. I generally, even on client systems, I don't think even waiting a week is too big of a deal, provided there's not any major egregious problem that can't be mitigated. Because by the way, you could just turn off SSH, for example, if you needed to mitigate it until a production downtime window could be found. So it's not like hair on fire, as I noted, but it's say maybe if you want to turn it off, if there was some reason to facilitate it, or if there was another bug found that was quite major, maybe figure out ways to lock it off and mitigate it, and then wait and schedule that maintenance downtime. But generally waiting more than even a week, I don't see the reason for it. Most of the major problems are found. There's a lot of people, not just myself, many in the community, of course, that jump right on these, starting in the release candidates, going into the releases, and we start debugging right away because we want to see the project get better. And if you're just one of the people who want to wait because you have other priorities, and I completely understand that, Hey, waiting a week seems reasonable, maybe two. I wouldn't wait a year, though. That is where I see people getting a little far off track and maybe outside of the migration path. Now, that's all listed here, how you migrate these and the different versions you can do. But don't let these get too far behind because skipping ahead uh, is a little bit harder then because you want to make sure you're updating 2204 to 2212 to 2302. They have the migration path all listed right here in your documentation. Or if you're on SureNAS Core, you want to know what version updates to it. Core 13061 can be updated to the latest. Uh, they should probably fix this to say 24.02. Now, so that's definitely a path by which you can migrate on here. Now, let's talk a little bit about True Charts. TrueNAS Scale failed to sync True Charts catalog. Well, this didn't take long to track down the problem. They've deleted the True Charts catalog, they've abandoned the project, they have, well, completely eliminated it. And I never recommended True Charts, I was always a little hesitant. And there's a Reddit post we'll talk about as well where they just 
grab a screenshot of what was posted in their Discord because for some reason they don't like forums. They think Discords are forums and Discord is not a great place for forums. That's because it's not searchable or indexed and it's a proprietary system. So I'll stop ranting there. It's why we had to have a screenshot and then post it over in Reddit and in the TrueNAS forums about they have now decided it's gone. This is a lot of debate back and forth. And there's clearly a lot of heated discussions, and I'll leave links to this if you want to dive into the drama. But one of the things I never understood about true charts, and this right here is kind of like a weird adversarial instruction. What I mean by that is all guides under this section are made for TrueNAS scale. We do not control anything made by X systems, no matter how good or bad it is. More specifically, we have no control at all over the following. And they talk about some of the problems because there was always a lot of breaking changes, which is why I didn't recommend it, as well as the issue of them wanting to use the storage as opposed to host path, which made it confusing to people not knowing where their data is. And as someone who runs forums myself, participate in the community and does consulting, we ran into lots of people losing data because they didn't understand where it was saving the data when you follow the instructions you're just setting it up and letting it control your storage as opposed to being implicit with the host path but one more thing i want to point out and i had to use the wayback when machine for this important must read and this is how it used to read before they changed it and this is my first more or less introduction to true charts and it really kind of turned me off to the project all guides under this section are made for true scale we do not control anything made by ax systems familiar statement no matter how great or shitty it is. I thought this was a weird way to say, I want to help this product, but it's garbage. I don't, it's not my problem, it's garbage. And I thought that's just like a weird attitude to come in with. And it was kind of, well, if you read the Reddit drama that is posted in there and some of the drama going on in our Discord, I just don't think they're probably the best for the open source community. This type of attitude just you know, I don't really get, I'm not adversarial with the people at IX Systems. I do like the fact that they're going to Docker, but I think they put a lot of hard work and effort into it. And I've never just dunked on them. I like it as a product. Doesn't mean I think it's perfect, but I have a nice civil discussion. I don't just call their product garbage and then use it. And like I said, this is a weird relationship they seem to have with them. And I just said, you know, I'm going to stay away from this. And that's why I've not done or taken the time to do any videos on True Charts, which actually worked out quite well because, well, it's gone now. Now, I have links to everything I mentioned down below if you feel like reading more, uh, but if you're wondering if there's a way to migrate your apps or get your data out, hopefully you have taken the time to set it up properly with HostPass because I have recommended that even for people using any of the applications in IX systems to set it that way so you can figure out a way to migrate your data. If the apps are working, they should remain working, but they are no longer going to get updates or anything related to TrueCharts. So export your data, figure out your plan B, and yes, they are coming and I'm excited for this with native Docker support that is on the roadmap now for TrueNAS scale. That's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to that because that is a preferred method in my opinion, because it's simpler. It's well documented. I don't think Docker's going anywhere. It's a little bit too popular, if you will be, uh, that I don't think this is going to be one of those things that get deprecated and we're all left in a lurch. I think we'll watch a slow erosion over it over time and we'll switch to something else sometime far in the future, but that future is not now. Today, Docker works great. Uh, we've talked about it a few times on this channel and you can certainly find many other channels and many other write-ups on how to set Docker things up, which is going to really expand the options for running applications on TrueNAS. So I'm excited and looking forward to that future. As always, like and subscribe to see more content from this channel. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com if you want to have a more in-depth discussion about this or other topics. And thanks.